What's up YouTubers, Hardworker12 with you here today, and I'm going to show you the very basics about how to drive a stick shift car. Now the hardest part about driving a stick shift when you're first getting started is getting the car moving from a dead stop. So I'm gonna go over some very basic things right now, and then I'm gonna show you how to get it moving from a dead stop, and I'm gonna show you how to practice getting it moving from a dead stop. So, we'll get started. So first of all, we have three pedals down here, and I apologize for my barefoot and janky sandal. I just wanted you to be able to see what my feet are doing. So this is the clutch pedal. What the clutch pedal does is it changes what percentage of the engine's power is making it to the drive wheels. When the clutch is all the way out, as it is now, all of the engine's power goes to the drive wheels. When it's all the way in, none of the engine's power goes to the drive wheels. This is a brake pedal that makes you stop. This is a gas pedal. Now, the reason why my engine can be running and my clutch pedal can be all the way out is because the transmission's in neutral. Well, you know it's in neutral, there's no N. Well, when the gear shift is in the middle and you can jiggle it around like that, you're in neutral. So, if I put my clutch all the way in, then I can go first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, whatever, and it doesn't make a difference because none of the engine's power is getting to the drive wheels. Now I'm going to show you right now how to get it started from a dead stop, and then I'm going to show you how to practice this. Okay, so to get started from a dead stop, clutch in, first gear. Now, watch my feet. This is how my mom taught me how to drive a stick. She just said, watch my feet. So I'm going to give it a little bit of gas, and I'm going to let up on the clutch. And then once the car's moving enough, I let off all the way on the clutch. Clutch in, brake in to stop. Now you'll notice as I do this, there's an initial amount that I let my foot off of the clutch because I know where this car's engagement point is. So let's talk a little bit more about that. Okay, so this is a drill that I've done with, I don't know, two dozen people that I've taught how to drive manual transmissions. So this is what I want you to do. In whatever car that you have that's a stick, that you're learning to drive in that's a stick, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the clutch in, we're gonna put the car in first gear. Now we are in an empty parking lot and it's flat. So I'm gonna take my foot off of the brake and I am just going to incredibly slowly let my foot off of the clutch. And what's gonna happen at some point, which is happening for me now, you're gonna feel the car start to move. Just keep letting your foot ever as slowly as you can off of the clutch. I've given it no gas. I'm still letting my foot off of the clutch. And the car is moving. Now, the reason why you do this is so that you can learn where the engagement point is for the clutch on your particular vehicle. With some of them it's right on the floor, with some of them it's kind of in the middle, which is what this one is, and some of them, if they're a little more worn out, it's right at the top. So I'm gonna show you that again. My foot's all the way on the clutch, I'm in gear, and you just ever so slowly let the clutch out. Slowly, 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 slowly. And now I'm moving in reverse. It works in reverse too. How do you like that? So once you're moving, clutch in, foot off gas, second gear, let the clutch out, put the foot back on the gas. Clutch in, foot off gas, third gear, foot back on the gas. And I'm driving around an empty mall parking lot because this is filmed during the time of social distancing. And I'm sure some mall cop is gonna be on me for being out here doing this, so. Anyway, that's how you drive a stick shift. Clutch in, first gear, let the clutch out, foot on the gas. Shift gear. I'm so good I can do it with a GoPro in my hand. Can you believe that? Now to stop, 
brake in, clutch in. You can get fancier with downshifts and jacking around when you get better with it. But brake in, clutch in will stop without the engine stalling. If you leave it in gear and hit the brake and don't put the clutch in and bring the car to a complete stop, the engine will stall out because the clutch is all the way out and all of the engine's power is going to the wheels, but the wheels are not moving, so the engine won't move. They are connected. The reason why you need multiple gears is because you need a shorter gear to get it started and taller gears for the highway. see from the movement of the camera when I'm shifting my gears this particular car you have to shift it a lot it has very kind of short gears so that was about 25 that was 45 I'm not redlining it or flooring it or anything now I'm in fourth and we stop again Foot on clutch, foot on brake. We are stopped. Transmission, neutral. We can take our foot off of the clutch. And the light is probably gonna turn green in just a minute. There it is, so back in first gear. If I can do this, you can do it. There's plenty of morons in the world that can drive a stick shift, but I remember learning and I remember it being really hard. And the reason why I'm making this kind of jank video, first of all, I have taught a lot of people how to drive stick shift in their own brand new cars from my years of selling Subarus, people wanting to buy WRXs, but they don't know how to drive a stick. So I'd take them behind a grocery store or something in their own brand new car and teach them to drive it after they sign the contracts. And that thing that I showed you where you put it in first, don't give it any gas, and let the clutch out super duper slow, that is a very, very helpful way to learn. And the other tip that I'm gonna give you is if you panic and you feel like you're losing it, don't pull your foot off of the clutch, shove the clutch back in because that will prevent the engine from stalling. When the clutch is all the way in like this, right now my car's rolling, but nothing is going on with the engine because my clutch is all the way in. I can hit the gas all I want. It's not making me go any faster. And now that I've let the clutch out, you go faster. So that's the very, very basics of how to drive a stick shift. But practice where your engagement point is. And you'll be fine. I'll show you that one more good time in the middle of this quiet street. Look, just slowly, slowly let your foot off of the clutch. I'm not even doing it that slow because I know where my engagement point is. So that was a bad, was a bad one. But look, now we're moving. So anyway, that's how to drive a stick. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Drive safe out there, and for the love of God, don't do what I do. Hard worker 12 out.